look at this view. Somebody rebuilt Stonehenge. Good morning guys and welcome back. As you can see I'm already setting off here. Enough sitting around. No, it was a fun time here. But now it's time to go. All right, the planned route is roughly 460 kilometers today. Ride time should be a little bit more than five and a half hours, according to Google Maps at least. But as I know myself, it will take me forever, especially if there's something to see on the way, you know. Get the drone out, take some beautiful shots, enjoy the scenery and so on. Look at this thing, guys. That is what they call the road train here. Holy f All right, guys, off we go. And I already took the wrong route, the wrong street. Doesn't matter. They all lead to the exit of this town here. Because <laughs> there's only one road that leads into here. And it's the same way out of here. So this is where we're heading. Bremer Bay is a nice place to stay. Um, really cool people, really nice food everywhere. At least where we've been to. So I've been yesterday to this Bremer Bay Brewery thingy here, company, Bremer Bay Brewery Company. They have really good food and the vibe is also quite nice inside. How everything is like placed and done. Hope it will not get too crazy today, but yeah, it's quite a bit of a stretch with not much to see, uh, at least as far as my research go. This is something for later, I guess, because now we have to backtrack about 60 kilometers to the highway one. So this is already like 45 to 50 minutes at my speed and from there there will be new routes to explore and discover making my way further east so this is basically a detour to my cape to cape route because I will stay to the highway one most of the time anyways so yeah thought switch it up a little bit and go here and there and if I have the chance to meet some people especially if you already know them then it's really cool well that's why I took my chance here stayed with mommy for a couple of days she will stay here a little bit longer and then basically follow after what I do to go the same places basically anyway let's go check out the roads ahead hopefully we have some kangaroos today or other wildlife here it's starting to rip guys hope it not get worse but anyway let's close up all the zippers that i can here While staying on the road, of course. All right, I made it through the rain cloud, and here the roads are dry again. Um, I'm not convinced if it stays like that, because if I look around, there are dark clouds basically everywhere. Hello! <laughs> Short break here on a random parking lot. This is how they look like usually. 
just a flat surface. This time there's a lake and a trash bin, that's all. Yeah, it's already past noon. Um, the weather is actually not that bad anymore, but it's cold. It's only like 18 degrees all the time. And psh, shut up cars. <laughs> now there's a lot of traffic because all the time I was the only one going this direction. And now there are a lot of people coming here and going. Yeah, well, so it's really foggy, kind of. I don't know if you can see it. There's like all the cloud layer hanging really low down there. And on the other side is the same. Yeah, but other than that, it's easy going. Um, highway 1 so far is not really interesting. And it's super windy as you can hear. So I will take a short break and then we hop on the bike and get out of here. Road train action guys, look. Yes, one big boy. Yo. And there is the second big boy. Wow. And we are stuck behind a smaller boy. Good morning guys and welcome back. I'm already up. The tent is dismantled, everything is clear. Time to go. The plan for today is basically to check all the surroundings of Esperance. Um, but first I want to head and get some breakfast. found a little coffee spot they also serve breakfast so off we go after a really stormy and short night we didn't have any rain but a lot of wind so I was fighting with my tent a little bit just halfway through the night All right, let's go check out this place. I found a fuel station just behind me. Looked it up on Google Maps. Looks like they only have one. Plus the others, I don't know. Look, I wanna go to the 11 mile beach. Let's go fill up here. At the Shell fuel station. Let's see what they got for us to have 95 yeah, at least something better than 91 right what a cool roundabout eh nice let's go look how many seagulls they are wow <laughs> just heating up on the stones great ocean drive yes this is where we heading. So I checked yesterday the route to the 11 mile beach should be quite easy. But after that it might get really challenging here. Now well, let's climb up here check out the view and maybe we will spot one or two things that we can check out later on our return there is the rotary lookout let's put on the bike somewhere it's okay that is okay flat enough for me all right all right from here you cannot even see the 11 and the 13 mile beach it's 
they're basically around the corner so we have to actually go there to see what's going down but from here you can see a part of Esperance at this one here guys wow they have some huge waves caving in An easy surf here i guess even though i don't surf but they look like or maybe they're too small i have no idea wow wowzers Nice sandy beach. Wow, these colors. So great. Parking lots everywhere. Wow. I'm here at the Twilight Beach Road. If you guys are wondering, just past the Twilight Beach and now I'm heading further to the 11 mile beach. And it's getting colder and foggier. I don't know what it is. Get the world winding up the mountain here. How cool is this place, eh? beach another workout nine mile beach no uh, to the 11 mile beach we're almost there just left the main road and turned on to a smaller one Why these parking lots always look like you can go down to the beach? <laughs> I mean with the vehicle, not by foot. Ooh, 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 limestone. Let's turn around and get the bike. Hmm. Maybe somewhere next to the stairs here. The drone barely made it back. I had like a minute or so left. It is really windy today. But we are next to the open sea, so I guess there's nothing else to expect, right? Get back down into the city and then we are heading in the other direction basically. Look at this view.
Twilight Beach. Yeah, this is where I wanted to stop, right? It's beach day, guys. It's only 22 degrees, but people don't care. They go for a swim anyway. Look how cool it looks. This little bay here. It's the Twilight Bay. Basically, you can look in both directions here. Some beautiful rock formations in the middle. Nice one. Not bad. <laughs> oh, look at him. Nobody is here at this one because the waves are massive here. At least it seems from here where I'm standing. Almost back. We're almost back okay, in the city. I'm in the city center. We have some really cool houses here. And some top of the We will over by beachfront property. Right right at this place here. Alright, the route is set. It's almost 50 minutes to go here. So let's go and check out this place then as well as there might be a surprise waiting for us but i'm not quite sure about that because i read something on the internet and somebody told me this morning something guys i just saw a sign that confused me again um, well, how can I say it? There's something in the southern part of England that is Stonehenge. Let's say what it is. It just sort of sign that Stonehenge as well. What the f is going on here? Now I'm more confused than ever. Why it says Stonehenge? <laughs> Can you guys see it? All the way in the back. Oh, come on. There really somebody built Stonehenge? What the f somebody rebuilt stonehenge and it's open till sunset today so maybe something for the way back they also have cold drinks food snacks and everything sounds good to me stonehenge <laughs> Man, what is it here? Denmark, Stonehenge, what next? Eiffel Tower, Lucky Bay, 29 kilometers left. This is where I'm heading at the moment. Wow. The Cape Le Grand National Park. Can I see the grass? This is what I'm fighting against at the moment. My neck already hurts. It's got to be so sore after this tour here. But I have to keep my helmet all the way 
to the left or pushing left all the time. Slow down. Prepare to stop. Okay. That is pushy, eh? Look at the clouds, you can't even see them. Moving with your bare eyes. No time lapse or nothing needed here. Welcome to Cape Legon. All right, let's pay our standard 10 bucks. And then we are out of here. Lucky Bay, full and full. Hi. Yes, please. Good card. Thank you. You too. All right, this one is paid. Put the gloves on and get down. Holy moly. As you saw the sign, camping is full. But I don't want to stay here anyway, so... Let's go check out this place and then taking us break here and then we are out of here again look at this place so green and lush well as green as it gets here right in australia at least on the western part that's a rock sticking it out Bay this way. Picnic area, beach access, campground. Campground is full. Yes, yes. Let's go to the beach, guys. Let's try this thing out. If we're able to go or not. Should be doable, right? Oh, kangaroos. I'm quite sure there are no kangaroos here, right? Whoa. Oh, that is so hard packed. <laughs> this is not sad. You cannot call this stuff sand here, guys. Call it what you want, but it is no sand. But what in my eyes, that is sand. Right. Let's take a little stroll at least here. Wow. Wow. Well, let's see how far we can get. <laughs> <laughs> oh guy Yo. It's long or scary now what is this area here? Ooh. Stay here I think I stay here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is fine. Let's not go further here. No, I already have to dig a hole. All right.
Let's enjoy this view for a second and get out of here. So as you can see the stuff is like super hard packed. Can barely leave your marks. Let's get out of here. Go to the next location. Check the next spot out. Get out of here. Enough riding in the salty sand here. Have to rinse off my bike when I'm leaving Esperance. Oh, maybe I do it later. Rosita Bay. I don't understand why the hell is nobody here. Interesting. That was kind of not worth it. Bird sanctuary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I was looking for something else. Somebody told me this morning there might be some penguins, but I can't see any. What a pity. All right, then let's head back and go slowly but steadily back towards the city. Oh, this washboard is so bad. We need to go faster, faster, faster. And we are back where we started. Unfortunately, Lucky Bay. All right, let's head back. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Wow. Can film hard. I don't know how much three from the hills have eyes here. This would be a nice location for a horror movie. In the outback. Another beach with beach access. So you can mop around here as much as you want. Love it. Look at this crazy clouds, how fast they're moving. Wow. Could go 60 kilometers in this direction in front of me. If we wanted to. But I'm not up for that. And I also have no idea how bad it gets further down the road because here it looks like it's kind of nicely packed but I'm not quite sure about the rest and I'm definitely not sure about my tires because the meters 07s are not the best in the sand and they are almost the worst <laughs> but yeah 
we could go 60 kilometers here. Uh, this is nothing I won't do. There's some birdie birds. I mean, look at it. Look at it. That wind is so freaking pushy. No wonder the clouds are moving so fast, right? All right, guys, I have no idea how far we can go here. But let's give it at least a try, right? Just taking it easy. Easy peasy, remnant squeezy. Because I did something similar in Denmark. Ooh. And then I almost pushed my bike into the sand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. look, this stuff is bad. <laughs> this stuff is really bad. Okay. Let's go and turn around here. I'm not willing to find the sand. Oh, this wind is killing me. Stop pushing. <laughs> okay, let's go over here. Maybe it's better here. No. Not really, right? I got my cardio in for the day. Don't bother even asking for more. Is this fresh water? Looks like, right? Mm. All right, all right, all right. This stuff is bad. <laughs> Yoo -hoo. Nope. 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 No, I'm not going 60 kilometers like that. <laughs> Even though the view is awesome. But nope. No, no, no. Out of the national park we are, as you can see, just heading straight all the way, almost to Aspirants. And fighting the wind again, but this time from the other side, so my neck muscles will be sore on both sides as soon as I get back. All right, I'm back to the campsite I've been yesterday. There's only one option for a hotel, but it's too expensive. I'm not willing to pay that. So I'm heading here now on the overflow camping ground as the night before. Hope I can catch the same spot. That was quite okay, except for the wind at night, right? But other than that, we should be fine here. All right, one thing I learned here already is you better come early to the camping grounds. And another thing I learned is there are still school holidays until the beginning of February. So therefore I still have, I think, more than two weeks until I am getting luckier with my accommodations here. This one is still here. Oh no. All right. So I will not get this spot today. <laughs> Let's see where we can put up tent then. 